a uh, real quick video on how to reset uh, to factory reset Cisco ASA 5505 VPN firewall. Um, I've already actually logged into uh, the Cisco interface USB to serial adapter. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and log in. Um, this particular one I've been playing with, so I don't have a password on it. So just going to um, enable uh, command again, no password. So then we want to type in config T. It's going to put us into a configuration mode. Click no there. Okay, once we get to config T, uh, we're going to actually wipe it out with no config, and then we will actually go back and put the factory default on there. So first we want to type in write erase. Hit enter. Uh, yes, we want to confirm that. Then we are going to reload and it's going to ask us if we want to save it. Yes. And confirm it. Yes. Now it's going to reboot. Reload means reboot. It's rebooting. Once we get there, we're going to actually drop the factory config back on to it. And we should have a DHCP server back. Default 192.168.1.1. So we're going to wait till we reboot. This is good if we mess up the config, which I'm known to do. Always go back home. All right, now we're back to the original interface, type in EN, we want to log in and enable. There we go. Okay, this time we want to type in config T to put us back into a configuration mode. And now we want to type in config factory slash default. When we get to more, just hit space. And you can see that it is actually setting the DHCP back. And it is giving a no shutdown command to our VLANs and our interfaces. So right there you can see 07, 06, no shutdowns. Um, there's our 192.168.1.1, 255, 255, 255, 0. And we are back. Now we want to do a reload. It will ask if we want to save it. And yes, and then we will confirm the reload. Yes. Now we are back. As soon as this finishes reloading, uh, rebooting, we will be back to factory default with the DHCP server 192.168.1.1.